hey guys welcome to the first tutorial in double barrel tech this is my channel um and yeah welcome to my first tutorial so in this tutorial i will show you how to restore a steam game without downloading it again uh, now this can be really helpful if you have um, reinstalled windows or reinstalled steam and you have all the games on your hard disk but you don't want you but steam doesn't have an option to automatically detect those installed games so using this method you don't have to download those games again if you already have the files downloaded um, this also works with cracked or dvd games as well if you have if all you need is the game files and steam will detect those files and download the necessary fixes or the or download the necessary new files um, as necessary well that's a lot of necessaries in one sentence anyway um so let's get started so in the, for this tutorial let's try downloading ori and the blind forest which i own on steam and also i have the uh, files as well from a previous installation but as you can see steam haven't detected the files that i have in my computer so to do this uh, first of all you need to start uh, downloading the game itself using steam so let's go ahead and put this into my e steam library and click next and this will start uh, create the downloaded download files uh, on steam library folder which will we will use then to replace with our uh, original downloaded files so as you can see the, down the download has started as um, you can see it downloading here what we're going to do is we will pause the download and then we will exit steam okay so once you have uh, paused the download and exited steam you need to navigate to the download folder of that game so in my case i downloaded it to e steam library so i'm gonna navigate to that folder right now it's on e steam library there we go steam apps now the downloaded files should be in the folder called downloading and this is the folder where Ori and the Blind Forest will download. So you can see here it's named 261570. That is the app ID. Uh, now this ID is quite important because we need to use this ID to restore our game. So if you go back to Steam Apps main folder, you will see uh, some weird files called app manifests. Now these files contain the data of your Steam library. So for example, as you can see we have an app manifest for our Ori and the Blind Forest game ID which is 261570 so as long as you have this ID Steam will Steam will know that you have this game installed but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna copy this and paste it to desktop or anywhere you like so I'm, I'm just gonna paste it to the main E folder and we're gonna go back to the Steam library and we will delete our downloading files for Ori, Ori and the Blind Forest. There we go, we deleted that. And yeah, we have the Ori folder in here as well. So we're just gonna keep that. Um, now what we're gonna do is we will start Steam again. Okay, so once you are once you have restarted the Steam, you will you can go back to the downloads folder and stop downloading. Ori and the Blind Forest because we basically have all we need right now. Alright, so we have uninstalled Ori and the Blind Forest, so we have completely stopped downloading the game through Steam. Now, what we're going to do, uh, if you go ahead right now into the Steam Library app, you will see that the Ori and the Blind Forest app manifest file is deleted, and that's why we copied that file into E because we will restore that file back into Steam Library. Um, Let's just ignore that. So what we're going to do is copy this. First, exit Steam. And we'll copy this back to E library and paste it there. Now what we're going to do is make sure Steam is, uh, make sure Steam is completely closed and we will navigate back to common folder in E Steam library Steam apps. And you should have a folder called Ori, which is the Ori and the Blind Forest default folder for Steam installation. And what we're going to do is 
Now I'm gonna go back to my Ori and the Blind Forest game files as you can see here. What we're gonna do is we will copy all the files in the main folder and we will paste those into the Steam library. Common, Ori and paste. Okay, so as you can see, I have finally copied all the files back into the Steam library folder. So again, it's in Steam library, Steam apps and common and we copied it to the Ori folder because we are downloading Ori and the Blind Forest. So now what we're going to do is we will start Steam again and we will try downloading uh, Ori and the Blind Forest again. Okay, so I just started uh, Steam and as you can see here, Ori and the Blind Forest has already started downloading because Steam automatically detected that I already have the files installed and it's just trying to update the remaining files that are outdated. So this is, the, this is what happens. So if, you, if, if the game files that you have are outdated or are missing some files, Steam will automatically update them or download those missing files. So in some cases, you will still have to download a bit, but it's still better than downloading a whole 10 gigabytes worth of files. So there you go. That's how it works. Um, I hope this video helped you and leave a like if it did and make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.